Just finished morning practice. It is around 8:30 a.m. and welcome back to another vlog. So yes, first things first. I did get a haircut. I've been growing it out for the past few months because I wanted to get something called a perm, and this is what a perm looks like. And if you don't like it, well, good thing it's not permanent. For those who already have been here for a while, you guys know already, but the, for those who are new, I am a full-time software engineer. I work at LinkedIn, which is all public information. You can check my LinkedIn account if you want to. And I've been working for about a year and a half since I graduated college. On top of that, technically I am a professional athlete. I'm currently training to try and make the Paris Olympics here on the common swimming team. And on top of that, I also have this wonderful YouTube channel, which we just hit 100K, so yay. Given that I do all these three things, a lot of you guys have asked me, well, Marcos, how do you do all of these things? So I kind of want to talk about that today for what I personally do to try and stay productive uh, to how I manage my time, as well as just some overall tips that work for me and that might work for you. Okay, you want to say anything? If you're anything like me, I'm a massive procrastinator. So if I have a deadline of two weeks, I will not do anything for the first week and a half, cram it all in at the end of the last two days, pull all-nighters and then submit the task and then get it over with and rinse and repeat. That pressure at the end is what makes me productive. But if there's no pressure in the beginning, I don't get that sense of urgency and I don't actually do it. And when you get out of school and you go into the real world there's no deadlines in anything else in life it is up to you to set those deadlines and if i don't set any deadlines i won't do anything so that's the main thing that i do in order to stay productive is to set concrete deadlines for example this youtube channel i would set deadlines for certain videos to go up at certain times for work i have obviously deadlines for the quarters in swimming i have a deadline which is the olympic trials date and that is nearing and it's not like a project where I can just cram in eight months of swimming and hard work into two two days. This is like a more of a daily thing and that pressure I feel every single day as the date nears. Sometimes it is hard to feel that pressure by yourself and that's why I use additional things in order to keep me productive and help me manage my time and not waste it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this thing I bought the other day on Amazon for 20 bucks which arguably is kind of expensive but it is a timer. That is all it is. It's a rotating timer that I set on my desk and I set it to the amount of minutes I want to concentrate for. I click it and it just counts down. And at the end, it beeps and that's it. This kind of forces me to have prolonged focus sessions. I feel like I need to get things done. I set the timer and even if there's nothing else has changed, just by having that timer ticking down and knowing that, well, this is the time to be productive, somehow it works. So it looks good on my table and that's something I really enjoy. As for apps, I've tested a bunch of different ones, but here's a system that works for me. So I use Apple Notes for quick top of mind items. These are like immediate to-do tasks or things I want to get done that day or random other thoughts or ideas that pop in my head while I work or do other stuff. Since I have an iPhone and a Mac, I can access them quickly wherever I may be. As for longer term projects and stats, I use Notion. So I've been using Notion for many years now and I love it. This is mainly for my YouTube channel, but I also use it for plan, travels, and goals. If you'd like to see a more in-depth video about how I use Notion, let me know in the comment section below. But anyways, that being said, I gotta head over to my second practice of the day. While my work ethic is mostly described by random bursts of energy rather than 
consistent efforts, one thing I cannot live without is a schedule. Even on my days off, I always try and structure my days loosely so I don't wander aimlessly throughout the day. I've tried using planners and schedulers and calendars, but they just don't really work for me. I kind of just wake up with a game plan and somewhat follow it throughout the day. If I get sidetracked, that's okay. I just try and get back to it as fast as possible. The hardest part about balancing a full-time job and training as a professional athlete and being a content creator is not that there isn't enough time, although more time would definitely help a lot, that there just isn't enough energy. I make sure to always get a nap in during the day, and if I can't because work gets busy or something comes up, caffeine becomes my best friend. I'm really lucky that my job allows me to balance work and swim, and even if that means clocking out a lot later than my peers at work because I have to compensate for the time missed during the day, the sacrifice is definitely worth it. I'm making a chicken wrap and I've never made a wrap before and I don't know how to wrap a burrito so this is my failed attempt of trying to wrap a burrito but I think it ended up turning out pretty well. It was very yummy. People often ask me how I stay motivated all the time, to which I always respond, I don't. <laughs> Motivation comes and goes depending on how much you want your goals, and that is definitely the case for me as well. But the biggest determining factor is discipline, not motivation. The times when you do something you really don't want to do is 1,000 times more important than those times when you're motivated to do them. Obviously, finding that discipline is hard. There are times when I am completely exhausted from swimming and I have no energy to do anything. On the last note, when you really, really, really want something, Sometimes these sacrifices might not even seem like sacrifices because in the end of the day, you want to do everything you possibly can to try and achieve your dreams.